welcome to another episode of Food Buffet Report. Today, we have a photo from a buffet, a Chinese buffet in Los Angeles. And there's a lot going on here. Let's take a look. First of all, we have some corn. Do I, do I, when do I come in and speak? I've been waiting. It's the beginning of the show. Well, uh, just don't wait. Just speak like you usually do. You usually cut me off. So I, I, you know. Well, there wasn't a good window there because you didn't take a breath and you just kept speaking. So Here. welcome to the show, everybody. I'm the second half of the show. I'm the one that whose head is always in front of the buffet food. So that matters. Counts for something, doesn't it? Yeah. You're always obscuring the picture with your big head. And then I have to show the picture without your head in the way. But that's okay. It's all right. I do the editing. I don't mind. <laughs> oh. Air, airing your grievances <laughs> to no one. So what do we have here? We have a, a beautiful arrangement. If this was a painting, how much do you think it'd be worth? Like at a gallery? If it was hanging at a gallery, I think it would be worth a few thousand dollars at least. Yeah. It doesn't have it's got a lot of doesn't have a lot of bright colors to it. Well, there's some orange and it contrasts nicely with the green beans. What about that weird cabbage? I think I've thrown out more cabbage in my life than I've actually eaten. <laughs> you think so? Why do you think that is? Because it's stupid and I hate it. If it's stupid and you hate it, why do you bother putting it on your plate to begin with? Well, no, I wouldn't. I'm talking about buying it at my house, thinking I'm going to cook it. Let's get some cabbage. It smells too. It smells terrible. But if you hate it so much, why do you buy it in the first place? I don't know. I'm trying to support all the vegetables I can. Hmm. Okay. You know? Well, I guess once you buy the cabbage, the money goes to the farmer and the farmer benefits, but then hmm. you just wasted your money because you don't get any benefit from it. So the farmer wins and you lose. <laughs> I do get a benefit because it's, I like it because it's hard like a bowling ball. And usually if I throw it out, I'll, I can roll it down the hill to the garbage can. I guess the reward for you is that you don't have to eat it. True. And I would love to throw a head of cabbage uncooked, like off of 50 story building. No, 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 no. That's not, not a good idea because if you hit somebody, you could hurt them or possibly kill them. Anyways, <clears throat> it's a great, it's a great looking plate. What's all that feathery stuff up there? See it up there? It looks like garlic, cloves of garlic husks. It just looks like derelict pieces of cabbage. Really? Yeah. What's underneath it? Like looks like spinach, like cream spinach. Ew, cream spinach. That's that's gross. Salmon's overcooked. You can tell the way it's sticking straight up. The corn, they really went crazy on the corn, didn't they? Yeah, it's very uh saucy looking. It's soaked in something. Yeah. It's married, it's float it was floating. <laughs> they had to use a a, a slot a slotted spoon to get the corn out because it was soaking what's with us today we sound very low energy today have you noticed that we're just maybe we should just maybe we should just not talk about this picture today maybe we would talk about something else but i do want to point something out do you see the spoon on the on the side where the salmon is just on the table you see the yeah spoon? That's yeah. a very ornate spoon handle. Do you have anything to say about that? I mean, I'm just, I guess I'm assuming that, that it's a spoon. It is ornate. It has a lot of decorativeness on the handle. Who's to say it isn't a fork handle? Could be, could be. Hmm. Look at my terrible posture. If I was at a buffet, this is exactly how I would sit to eat. <laughs> I remember the first time that I met you in person. The first thing I noticed was that you were slouched. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Nor normally when you meet somebody online, you don't notice the back of them. Like you don't know what the back of them looks like. You only know what the front of someone looks like. So I think one day on the show, maybe what we can do is we can have um, a back reveal. How's my posture? Should I just sort of... I'll... I'll turn around sideways. 
Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All this right. It's going to be a real episode. <laughs> you better believe it. So disappointed in us. <laughs> Why? Last episode, you can watch it right here. Uh, here. Last episode, we apologized to our viewers for our infrequency of posting. So now we're going to post more often. There's going to be shitty episodes. Is that it? <laughs> so this time next year, we'll be apologizing again just for something else. <laughs> we did a great job of putting out content, but it was shit. We're sorry. We knew it was on February 8th, 2023, but we kept going. <laughs> and... and we could tell by the amount of views that we received and we even spent money on ads and it didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> we did everything we could and we just nothing because the episodes were not good. I, I got to say, I mean, we've done as far as talking about buffets. I got to think we probably have the top show. Oh, at this point. Yeah. For all of you guys that have been here since the beginning and watched us as we've, we've, you know started out and really getting our footing and now that we've achieved semi could you use the term greatness or no probably not sure you could we've achieved greatness when it comes to talking about random buffet photos that we find on the internet it's proved to be a very sustainable show because you never run out of photos because people are always posting photos of their stupid buffet food do you think this person knows that we're talking about their food no. I would love to see someone come on here and be like, that's my plate. I, I <laughs> ate that last night. That's me. Wouldn't that be great? That's never going to happen. It could. That's it. Great show. Really great show. Really great. Thanks for doing this again, for making it great for me. I'm just happy to be here and the enjoyment of the everyone else. They're going to love it. If you have a buffet photo you'd like to share with us, send us an email. I'll put the email address on the screen. Please, if you've been to a buffet, <clears throat> send us a photo. Buffet the on the screen. <laughs> buffet report at. <laughs> Can't do. Can't work like this. <laughs> we we can't work like this. It's just no one wants to watch you laughing on YouTube, <laughs> laughing at our own jokes. <laughs> it's a serious show. Buffet report at Gmail. <laughs> God, you're still recording. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's happening <laughs> i'm just remembering <laughs> just remembering the time <laughs> that, that i that i mentioned our gmail address <laughs> yeah and, it was said, wrong. and you said that only only really badly just what did you say about someone that has a gmail address it's bad business or oh this is going to be so hard to edit yeah yeah well i did it to myself thanks everyone we'll see you next time if you already checked out or me yeah responding to a text i thought we were done oh no well we were just saying goodbye to everybody oh goodbye everybody thank you for tuning in once again to food buffet report where we report on buffets throughout the world from pictures we find on the internet that's our show thanks